Welcome back. A new novel out follows the adventure of a young girl in India who stumbles upon a rare Bengal tiger cub. The girl and the tiger is fiction, but inspired by very real events with endangered animals. Author and naturalist Paul Rosalie has spent the past decade in remote parts of India, Brazil, Indonesia, and Peru, which sounds amazing. And he joins me now. Tell me what a naturalist does. Oh, well, we, I, we're always conflicted whether to call me a naturalist or a conservationist, because some people think naturalist is like you're barefoot surviving off the land. Not quite so that. I, so I guess I'm a conservationist. Okay. Protecting wild habitat, protecting wildlife, and in this case, following endangered tigers, elephants, as they move through like fragmented habitat and right. trying to learn about their lives. Well, and trying to get the rest of us to care about this and to, and yeah. to make the adjustments so that we can keep these animals. And I, I wonder, um, in this case, you went with a novel mm -hmm. to make that point. Um, how did that help you with your message? Uh, I think my first book was nonfiction. It was talking about how I got into the field and all that stuff, but I wanted to hit people on, I felt like it was such an incredible story that I wanted to bring people on a more emotional level. And mm -hmm. I feel like the way to do that is through stories, to bring people with a modern day tiger that's living that refugee lifestyle through the, through the fractured jungle and right. sort of revisit what Jungle Book started. And look at like that was then, look at what, look at, look now. at now. And to have a girl instead of a boy and to have the frag, you know. That's really interesting. Yeah. And with all that we're seeing with the Amazon right now yeah. and things that are happening, we, you know, we know these things, but sometimes we don't feel these things. It's hard for us to feel them. I mean, across the world, I think 50% of the people on Earth live in cities. So we, we don't have access to, direct access to nature. So you hear about these faraway things that are going on, but they're so important. I mean, everything that's happening in the Amazon is going to affect us. It's going to affect Brazil's ability to produce um, agricultural products. And, you know, it affects right. economies. It affects our health. I mean, we know as soon as a river gets destroyed, the fish are gone. You know, the, the health of the local people is challenged. So... In India, I've seen so many examples where they cut the forest and then the rain patterns change, and then it affects everybody downstream, and it's like... Well, and the trouble is sometimes that we get into this argument between, okay, we'll get jobs if we do this ah, thing, yeah. and um, on the other hand, we're going to you know, wreck the environment, and how do you sort of get people over that hump to look at the long term? I think that the jobs thing is, is usually just, is just a crock. It's like, it's, you know, it's a few real rich guys who are going to put in a dam and ruin a river, and they're going to make millions and millions of dollars, and they'll talk Talk about the jobs it'll make, but really downstream, people aren't going to have fish. They're not going to have irrig irrigation for their crops. It's going to mess up, you know, the migra migration of say salmon or whatever. It's we got to stop being fooled by the same thing again and again and again. And that's the theme in the book is like that. Even when they reach the jungle, that there's all these different people trying to tear it apart because that's the truth. I mean, they're so valuable. Our natural ecosystems mm -hmm. is the source of every economy. And so I just wanted to bring people through that in a way that wouldn't just be people that are interested in nature, like in a way that people could go through this as just like a story and just get that Which message. Which is great because yeah. we all need to hear this and maybe we don't you know, value a certain thing because we don't understand it yet sure. and you're helping us with that. How did you get into this work? Oh, I, I never had a choice. When I was like this big, I just I wanted to be around wildlife. I wanted to be around animals. My, I made my parents take me hiking every weekend. <laughs> which was good to, for everyone. Yeah. And we're seeing some video. This is yeah. part of what you see when you go out there, which I think is oh, just yeah. amazing. Yeah. Very few people get to see this and appreciate it. It must be stunning. It is stunning. And like that guy I was just walking with, uh, he, he taught me a lot about the jungle. And uh, I mean, Look it's all... This. This book is so much of just really taking the things that happened and so just sort of telling them in a, in a creative way. I mean, everything, I mean, even, even Isha, the main character, I mean, this book was inspired by when real life Isha sent me an email saying, I have to go rescue these tigers. What do I do? And I just said, well, that's, 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 the, way to ta that's the way to bring people through this story for <laughs> yeah. sure. Because I didn't know how to, how to connect all these things I'd seen in the field to, you know, to one cohesive narrative. But Absolutely. I, I, think, I think it's a... Uh, I think it's working. We're getting a good response so far. I have no doubt. I mean, it's a beautiful book, and I love that you have a female protagonist because yeah. these girls are the future. Yeah, Thank man. you so very much. Thank Appreciate you very, it. very much. Paul is doing a book signing tonight at Third Place Books in Ravenna at 7 p.m., and you can find more information about the book and Paul on New Day's website. We'll be right back.